This is the first look at Fedora 42, the upcoming release that brings big updates, bug fixes, and performance improvements. At the time of recording this video, Fedora 42 is in beta and the features or the changes you see in the final stage will appear stable. Now let's go ahead and discuss the only features of Fedora 42. In Fedora 42, Anaconda Installer gets complete overhaul. Fedora 42 introduces a revamped Anaconda Installer. It's now a native valent application. It no longer supports X11, offering better keyboard control on live ISOs and switching remote installations to RDP instead of VNC. The new web-based UI for partitioning enhances automatic partitioning with guided customization. It also introduces a reinstall Fedora option for easy system recovery and simplifies dual boot installation by requiring only free space allocation. This is the default installer for Fedora Workstation. The UI provides a smoother installation experience with a progress indicator, built-in help, configuration review, and a visit to skip unnecessary steps. Overall, I would say this brand new installer offers an incredible UI that is easy to use for installing Fedora. Fedora introduces a new spin called Fedora Cosmic Spin that comes with the Cosmic Desktop Environment from System76. It's a modern and easy to use desktop with useful features. It includes optional auto tiling, which arranges new windows in a grid automatically. You can use tiled windows, classic floating windows, or a mix of both across different workspaces. You can customize theme colors the way you like and save your favorite themes. Fedora 42 comes with GNOME 48 out of the box. This new desktop environment brings some of the scintillating features. Now let's start with digital well-being. In settings, you will find a new option called well-being, which is similar to the macOS screen time. It shows you how much time you spent on your computer and provides tools to help you limit the usage. For example, you can set a screen time limit. You can also set reminders to take breaks. So when you set a reminder, GNOME Shell will notify you to manage screen time for better health. GNOME 48 brings dynamic triple buffering, which improves the perceived smoothness of GNOME by reducing skip frames and making animations more fluid. But technically, it enhances the motor capabilities by allowing the compositor to start working on the next frame as early as possible even when the previous frames has not been displayed yet. In practice, it helps in situations where there is a sudden burst of activity in the compositor. For example, when the GNOME Shell overview is opened after a period of long activity. Fedora 42 ships with the latest kernel 6.13. The latest kernel enhances hardware support, boosts energy efficiency, and strengthens security with essential patches, ensuring seamless compatibility with modern devices and architectures. Now, some of the other changes include Fedora Live Media now uses ERO-FS instead of SquashFS for better efficiency and alignment with RHEL. 
RPM can now create users and groups based on system users' configurations, improves performance by reducing I.O. and CPU overhead using BTRFS reflinks but not enabled by default, and DNFI now automatically removes expired and obsolete repository keys for smoother software management. Overall, I would say Fedora 42 is a scintillating update for Linux users, which is scheduled for release in April. Now, as of now, you can download and try Fedora 42 beta on bare metal by installing it on a separate drive or partition. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.